Hello everyone, welcome back to Chill Deal Trades where I analyze stocks so you know what's going on. Today we're going to be doing technical analysis on four different stocks. We're going to do root insurance, maps, um, which is weed maps, uh, KPLTR, Catapult, and last PLTR, Palantir. So we're going to break down the charts, both long term, short term, figure out how they're looking from both perspectives and see if we can set up some trades or some long term investments. Uh, if you're here, and you haven't subbed yet, please go ahead and do that. And if you've, you're coming back, I really appreciate it. Guys, we're almost to 500 subs on the channel for the community, which is really, really exciting. So if you're watching this and you haven't subbed yet, please hit that and get us to 500 subs. Once we get to 500 subs, I'll be doing daily videos till we get to 1,000 subs. That's the goal. By no November, 1,000 subs. So help the channel get there. Your support is awesome. And I want to grow this community. Because I think we've made some pretty good calls um, so far on the channel, either to save you some money or make you some money. Um, so first, we're going to jump into root insurance. We're going to do technical analysis here. So first on the daily, the, I would say the first calls we want to make. Obviously, we know this stock has sold off significantly. But the first thing I want to call out is we are seeing some positive momentum on the daily for the MACD, even though we are still negative. I would say we're up. We're going to come to a really important decision here. We're going to see if that sell off to five dollars was um, warranted or not. And so the reason I say that is we're coming up towards fifty on the RSI. You know how I always say when we're below fifty, we're bearish. When we're above fifty, we're bullish. So coming up into this range is going to be really important on the daily. It's going to tell us if this stock is ready to reverse and maybe start you know climbing up a little bit, or if. All this extra volume was just a bunch of baloney. Maybe people selling out, pumping to sell out of their shares of the company because we know there are some big time holders from the IPO. Um, so we're going to find out there. The reason I bring that up is really interesting. So we had massive volume today, 32 million. And, and when we zoom out, the, we've only had volume this, this big one other time. And this was back in June. So that's really interesting that that happened. Obviously, it was some bullish and some bearish volume. As we can see on this candle, this kind of indecision candle, a lot of wick on the bottom and the top. So tomorrow is going to tell us a lot for this stock. If we continue to see green volume pumping in the morning, this could be a good short term trade. Um, we are below the 20 EMA on the daily, which is not a great sign. We close below it. I want to say we're slightly above it after hours, but we'll have to see how we open. Really use that 20 EMA as your source of truth on the daily for long term. The reason I say that is right here, as you can see, we've been struggling to break above it for the last few days. So it's going to tell us a lot. Let's go ahead and go on the four hour to see more short term. Again, we're kind of battling that 20 EMA, which is really important. If we do pop higher on big green volume, let's kind of find where some resistance points are. So the first one, we have the 100 EMA about at 720. So we're going to, if we do bump up higher, I'm going to say somewhere between 7 and 720 is a potential target to keep an eye out on. If we look at the 50 day, the 50 day is we closed above it. So we try to break above the 50 day and we also try to close above this really important zone right here. So you can see all these red lines, ton of resistance. And on that big volume, we tried to break above and reversed. Um, so that's not a great sign. Um, that showed that there were sellers in this zone. And so we'll have to see if tomorrow green volume can push that back into pause momentum and above that big sell zone. Because um, we had more people sell than buy in that zone, which means there's a lot of resistance. We have this kind of upward trend line kind of trying to start. And so we'll want to keep an eye on that. If we do break down and, and bounce off that, keep an eye for that, keep an eye out on that, as well as in a perfect world, we would really like to stay above this zone. We'd like to stay above six bucks. And that's just because we consolidate around here um, at the lowest, you know, maybe down to 575 and this trend line. And that could be a dip buy with a really um, tight short or with a really tight stop loss. Um, on the daily, we're above the 50 MA, positive. We're above the 20 day, positive. We're above the 100 day, positive. Let's see where the 200 day is at. 200 day testing it so we're below it currently you know we tried to break above it for three hour candles in a row and we failed and so that's kind of bearish so again so much big volume on this candle we ended the day with a red hourly candle tomorrow's really going to get tell us the truth for this we obviously had a red market today so if we have more red in the market we could see some negative momentum 
but this is something to keep an eye out for tomorrow. Okay, next up, maps. I gotta speed up in this process because I'm going too slow to cover four stocks. Um, okay, maps, important zone here. And the reason why I bring this at a macro perspective or big picture is we have the MACD right about zero and trying to break above positively. And we also have um, the MAC or the RSI hitting that 50. So if we break back below 50, we're gonna have more bearish momentum. If we stay above and move up, then we bounce off the 50 day, which is real, or the 50 RSI, which is super positive. So those are things we're gonna to wanna to keep an eye out um, over the next couple of days if we can hold that. We're also coming down to back test the 20 EMA. So in the path we broke above, we come back below and can't break above it. So if we can go back and test the 20 EMA, that's gonna be super bullish as we're potentially starting a positive uptrend for at least the next couple of weeks. So those are all big picture things we want to keep an eye out for. On the four hour, again, we're testing the 20, 20 EMA, which is really important mark. Same thing with RSI, testing there. If we do see more bullish um, momentum here, you know, we're at the 50 day, so 20 day, 50 day, a lot of support here. So if we hold super big positive, if we don't hold, that's a really big negative. Uh, we didn't. We tried to break above the um, 100 day and we failed there. So keep an eye on that, as well as this kind of I would say big resistance point. So this kind of zone right here, which is 1480 to 1440, is really big resistance, as well as we have the 100 EMA. So we really want to see if we can break above there. We saw that we couldn't break above, so we kind of double topped here. So one is we could have a cup and handle, which should be positive. We have a a reverse head and shoulders so we could see some pause momentum but we really have to break back above and then eventually above that 1620 range those are really important key points to keep an eye on and on the downside I'd really like to stay above 1390 and because we like to consolidate below there and if it consolidates and hold it could be a long-term hold you know for the future but we could just come back down and consolidate longer and that's not not necessarily what you want to see with this stock on the hourly, we're above the 100 EMA, trying to test it, kind of like we are the 20 day and the 50 day on the four hour candle. We're below the 20 EMA, so we're gonna have to break above that. As you can see, a fell back below the 20 EMA, which is not the greatest sign on the hourly. And again, we're coming to this really important zone right here. So this 1380 is super important. If we can bounce off that and bounce off the trend line, as well as keeping, you know, on the more longer time frames, RSI above 50, that's super bullish. But this is the zone we're really wanting to pay attention to. What does the stock want to do? Does it want to break above that range or does it want to break back below into the consolidation range from the past? Those are things we we'll want to keep an eye on. Okay, next up, KPLT catapult. So on the daily, um, and I brought all these stocks up today because they're in decision mode and we want to keep an eye on stocks that are in decision mode. Um, okay, so obviously big news for catapult. I made a video a couple days ago. Go watch that. Um, and I also want to know what you think about these stocks as well. So let me know. I want to know your guys' feedback, what you're keeping an eye on for these. But on a daily time frame, we did break above 50 on the RSI, bullish technically speaking. But it does look like we want to come down and test that. So we're going to see if it breaks below. As I said, bearish. We're back to bearish trend for it. The opposite would be bouncing off it and staying up here. We'll probably get some positive momentum to the upside at the lowest, some consolidation, which I would say would be bullish more for the long term. We're still quite a bit negative on the MACD, but we do have you know, quite a bit of positive momentum there. Um, so we'll have to see if we can hold that. As you can see, we have this big gap. So if we continue to get some big volume again, obviously we see today volume was tiny. That's honestly not a great sign for the stock. This is a stock that tiny volume is probably gonna seep it lower just as we can see from the past. Past, the future often um, is kind of similar to the past, so that's what we know about this stock. Um, we also did break above this really steep trend line. So for a pullback, what I'd really want to see is maybe holding this $5 range, seeing this mat or RSI not break below 45 at the lowest and curl back up. If that, we could be having a little, a little bottom here. Obviously, this was like a cup and handle. We saw an explosion but what to next, and that's what we're trying to figure out. On the four hour candle, oh, let's go back to the daily real quick for the 20 EMA. So 20 EMA, again, 410, 
to four or five ten to five thirty five is kind of that range that we really want to bounce off of support. So we can see all these candles tried to break out. So that's super important support, and we really want to hold that. If we can't hold that, we do have a gap here, which would not be great to see. But on the pro, it could be a place to buy some shares um, for the long term because there is some could be some positivity for the stock in the long term. Again, we broke below there, 20 EMA, um, and about the same as same same exact spot as the daily. Our size above 50, which is positive. It got overbought, and that's why it's pulling back. And again, same like the daily, we wanted to hold that 50 range. That's super important. MACD positive, another positive for more of the short term. 50 day, we're above the 50 day as well. So 20 day and 50 day is in this zone. This zone is super important to hold, guys. 580. We really want to hold that, but if it does break down, 510 is really important to hold. On the 100 day, where are we at the 100 day? So 100 day, we could not break out of that on multiple candles. That's bearish. Sometimes when you see these short squeezes off news or high short interest, you see it come up to the 100 day and get rejected. And that's kind of what we saw. So not a great sign there. We want to keep an eye on how that 100 day trends um, to see if it starts coming down, if it goes sideways. You know, we could get a little another little cup and handle here maybe with another move higher. That could be a bullish pattern. Um, since we broke down so low, we don't have a lot of points to keep as support and resistance. Um, but we do have this kind of downtrend. So if we can get some volume tomorrow and break above that, you know, we could see this test back up to 665. And if we can break back above 665, we also get back above this kind of trend line here, which is another bullish indicator. So green and breaking above this downward trend could send us to 675 and then decision time from there. On the daily, we're above the 100. I think we're above probably all the EMAs here, which is super bullish. Yep, again, guys, as we can see on this stock, this zone is so important. This 5 to 580 is important. When we look at the hourly, we're testing the 20 and we're getting rejected. Not great sign. We'll have to see what tomorrow, again, if we break above the downward trend line, if we break above the 20 day, if we break back above the upward trend line and break above 660, that's the range that we're going to want to keep an eye on. Okay, last, PLTR. We're covering a lot, guys, so I'd really suggest you watching this video back because we're going fast through everything. But uh, PLTR, so PLTR, much like other stocks, decision time, we're coming back to the 50 on RSI. Let's see if we can hold that, if we can hold that super bullish. MACD is also making a decision where it's trying to consider breaking negative in momentum. We're still above zero, so that's positive overall. Um, but we did have this big red day, and we did test a 20 EMA on the red day. So bullish that we bounced off that. Um, bullish that we didn't break below 50 and bullish that we didn't go negative. So all bullish on the long term right now, but preface that we are in decision time for PLTR. Obviously, we know it's moved pretty significantly from 20 up to about 26. And as we look at the big picture, look at this. Look how many candles in this little zone right here. It's going to take a lot, a lot of volume to break above 27. Look at all these big candles. Big candle couldn't break above 27. Big candle couldn't really break out a little bit lower there. Big candles couldn't break above that 26, 27. 26, 27, super important. If it does break above there, this thing could shoot much higher pretty quickly to 29 or 30 bucks. So that's what we're going to keep an eye on if we see more bullish momentum. Four hour, we only got one minute left in the video. Let's zoom through this. So we're below the 20 EMA, not great on that big red at the end of the day. And the, I mean, the index is ended, ended green, so that's kind of weird that these ended negative. But um, we're above the 50-day. We tested it, and we bounced off. Big pro. Uh, RSI bounced off 50, went up higher. Uh, we do have some room for um, the 100-day. But line in the sand for me is this 2360 as a floor. I really don't want the stock to go below that. Um, as you can see, we gapped up there. So if we go back here and go down, we're definitely going to close that gap, and we really need to hold 2280. If not, then we're going back into this consolidation zone, which is negative for the stock. But that's all I have for you guys. I hope you like that content. hope you 
got something that will help you trade better. Um, and I'll make another video in a couple days on some more stocks, so keep an eye out and subscribe.